What does the scouter say about his- Hi pal, nice to meet you. It's over 9,000! Radiometric rock dating, this is the last thing that they have. This is their last piece of evidence. No! This is kind of their stronghold. They say, well, we know that rocks determine the age of the Earth. Well, here's the thing. In 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted over near Washington, and it created igneous rock that flowed down the side of the mountain. I'm going to be a bit pedantic here because the terminology is important if you're presenting geology to people. Mount St. Helens did not produce igneous rock that ro rolled down the mountain. It made lava, and the lava rolled down the mountain. Now, they said, we're going to test these rocks. We're going to see how old they are. Who is they, Matt Powell? Who exactly are we talking about here? They. Now, we know they're less than 10 years old, but let's take this fresh rock and let's send them to five different laboratories and we'll use the best laboratories, the best radiometric daters. And here we have our first example of a bullshit lie by Matt Powell. If you go to the paper that he doesn't cite, by the way, I had to go find it myself. You go to the paper, you read the part about the radiometric dating process. It says that they sent all five samples to the same laboratory. Did you not read the paper you're talking about here, Matt Powell? Or do you just copy other people's work verbatim, <laughs> Kent Hoven, and present it as if it's some new exciting material? Hmm, I wonder which one it is. Hmm, really makes you think. One sample came back at the Geochron Laboratories as 340,000 years old. Now keep in mind, this rock is less than 10 years old. Second sample came back as 350,000 years, 900,000 years. One came back as 7 million years old. This is the dating method that they're saying is reliable and we can date the crust of the Earth using this method. 2.8 million years old is another one. Now, before I get into the actual meat of this conversation, and I will, I'd like to stop and point out how bad this slide is. Beyond the obvious things like, what the hell is that background color? Nothing is cited, no footnotes, nothing. This is his data supporting his side, and he can't even put a citation here for people to find this information out. I don't know if it's laziness, ineptitude, general crappiness at his job, I don't know, but it's pretty bad. So here's the thing, no rock of known age has ever been dated accurately, ever. So if their theory has a 0% success rate, Zero percent. Who wants to, oh, I want to trust that. It doesn't have a zero percent success rate. You just never fucking looked. Again, probably because you make your money off of telling ignorant people that aren't going to check themselves these stupid bullet point conversations. Probably again why you don't cite your sources. But beyond that whole conversation, why would a geologist use a method of dating rocks if the rock is of a already known age. That's dumb. Why would you want to do that? These, in these instances of dating known aged rocks are rare because they're ways to calibrate and understand the mechanism of rock dating, not because there's anything beneficial you can glean from a rock you already know the age of. Again, that's stupid. It's like chopping a tree that you planted five years ago to count the rings and see how old the tree is. Well, I guess if you want to practice counting rings, that's one thing. But beyond the practice of the method, there's no point to fucking doing it. And again, just to remind everyone, it's been done. I provide links, unlike Matt Powell here, jackass. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. They say radiometric dating has been proven. It's never been right even one time. Not even one time. You know, usually false doctrine, that's some pretty bad false doctrine. You know, at least false doctrine, they use a Bible verse. They just are wrong about everything. The real dick of it all is I didn't have to go through some in-depth literature search in order to find that Vesu Mount Vesuvius paper. I just Google searched it. 
I just Google searched Mount St. Helens eruption. I found, they're all in the description below, I found like five or six articles refuting this one paper. And I found the actual paper. Matt Powell didn't have the time, apparently, to open up his browser and type this stuff into Google just to double check himself. So again, is this arrogance? Is this laziness? Perhaps a combination of the two? The age of the rocks may be determined by the fossils found in them, but the age of the fossils can be determined by the rocks they found them in. Think about that for a second. This is according to them. They. So you date the fossils by the rocks, rocks by the fossils. Let that sink in. That's a circular, that's called a circular <coughs> argument. It's indefensible. It's impossible to defend evolution honestly. Every one of these con men on YouTube. Are you talking to me? Uh oh, they called him a pig. Are you talking to me? You shouldn't have done that. Are you talking to me? Or across the globe, like Richard Dawkins, they are con men. They don't care about you. Right. Oops. Deleted. Now, before I go into the Mount St. Helens claims, I'd like to state that this video should not be your understanding of the topic. This is a primer. This is a short little excerpt about what we're talking about here. Link below are plenty of websites and articles on these subjects if you want to know more. Now, that being said, what Matt Powell is talking about here is work done by Steve Austin in the mid-90s with the express purpose of disproving radiometric dating. And he does a lot of glaring flaws in this work. First, the laboratory he used and the method he used do not work well for young rocks. Argon is a very long half-life. You don't get a lot of radioactive decay in 10 years. Geocron laboratories themselves state their machines are not accurate enough to measure things younger than 2 million years old. Big shock when they fail to accurately measure them, right? Secondly, the stupid argument of we clean the shit well, therefore no possible contamination was present is a horrible argument. There is always an outlier or bad data in every scientific experiment. The way you get past that is not perfectly cleaning, because that's not possible, it's mass of samples. A n equals 5 from the same fucking boulder isn't going to give you the variety of samples rich enough to negate those errors. A third issue with all this is xenocrysts. These are parts of the lava that formed from older material and may not be the same age as the lava itself. Austin claims that they didn't have any xenocris because they looked at stuff thoroughly under a microscope. But how do they know that? The paper is so brief in its explanation of these principles that I can't be for certain Xenocrysts aren't contributing to the older age of this material. Since this rock is pulverized for the test, you can't weed that stuff out once it's crushed up. Of course, we'll have to take his word on it, but again, since the paper itself is so lacking information, and they only had five samples they tested, you don't know. It can be difficult to distinguish Xenocrysts from native Phenocrysts, for example. Beyond these few issues, there are many problems with Austin's paper, and the fact that it's so oft-touted as proof that radiometric dating doesn't work is a huge red flag. I don't know of any more recent work in this field by creationists. Apparently, one paper is all it takes to destroy the field of radiometric dating, I guess. If they did more work, if they found more samples, and this was more consistent, maybe you'd be able to ask these questions. Doing it once, not showing your data properly, using inappropriate techniques, not repeating your work, doing one rock, these are all major concerns. Does that matter to Matt Powell? No. He got paid to do this lecture. He doesn't give a fuck. But to you out there in the audience that maybe think this is a good argument, hopefully this video here sheds a little insight into this process, right?